Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Okay, it's nice to hear that you are always happy and you are always good. I am requesting Junaline to please lead our prayer this morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Very good, so there is no absent. Plus, what is our secret words? Pray okay, respect each other. Respect each other because I want you to respect your classmates, especially when they are sharing their ideas, so you need to listen to them. And of course, you need to respect all people around you. So we will have a quick review of our previous lesson. So yesterday we talked about graphical representation of measure of central tendency. My first question is what is graph and loss? Very good. So graph is a tool used for conveying information very quickly. Next. So what are the most common graphical methods? Line graph. What else? Jennifer. A bar graph. Yes, bar graph. Next. I graph. We will have an activity called summing up. I want you to write on your illustration board numbers from 1 to 10. Are you done? Okay, after that, you need to add those numbers and tell me what is the sum. The sum of those numbers is 55. And then, I want you to divide it into 10. It's because we have 10 numbers in our data. The result is 5.5. So 5.5 is our mean. Who can define mean based on our finding the average? What else? Very good. Okay, Jonah. Okay, the sum of the all numbers divided by the total number. Okay, very good. So class, our lesson for today is all about measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. Okay. So our learning objective, the students should be able to calculate the measures of central tendency of ungrouped data. The mean is the most commonly used measure of central tendency. So when we speak of average, we always refer to the mean. This is our formula of mean. We have summation of x over n. x represents the numbers and then n is the total number of the data. For example, Six friends in a biology class of 20 students receive test grades of 92, 84, 65, 76, 88, and 90. Find the mean of this test scores. So X, we have 92 plus 84 plus 65 plus 76. So 88 plus 90 over N. So our N is 6. It's because... We have six students. The total is 495 over 6. And then our mean is 82.5. Okay? So, is it clear? Very good. Now, class, let's proceed to median. Who can define median based on your own idea? Okay, very good, Jenny. So, median is the middle value. So the median is the midpoint or the middle value, value of the data array. So, before finding this value, the data must be arranged in order from least to greatest or vice versa. So the median will either be a specific value or will fall between the two values. Our formula equals to n plus 1 divided by 2. This is our example. Seven mothers were selected and given a blood pressure check. Their blood pressure were correct, recorded below. 
So we have 135, 121, 119, 116, 130, 121, and 131. Find their median. So according to the definition, we need to arrange the numbers from least to greatest or from smallest to highest. So the smallest number is 116 and the highest number is 135. Um, uh, seven numbers, our formula is n plus 1 divided by 2. Plus 1 equals to 8 divided by 2. So the answer is 4. So now class, where is our fourth number? So here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, our median is 121. So that is our median. So you will count to the right side. So one, two, three. Okay? To the left side, one, two, three. The middle value is 121. Let's proceed to our next example. Eight novels were randomly selected and the numbers of pages were recorded as follows. So we have eight numbers. Okay? Or find their mission. So, first step, we need to arrange the number in ascending order or descending order. Our lowest number is 398 and then our highest number is 425. We have 8 numbers. So, according to the formula, n plus 1 divided by 2, right? Okay, so we have 8 plus 1 equals to 9. And then divide 2, the answer is 4.5. Okay. But there is no 4.5 in our location. Therefore, the median located in 4th and 5th location. In between of 407 and 415 is because our 4th location is 1, 2, 3, 4 is 407. And our fifth location is 415. We determine already our fourth and fifth location. We need to add the two numbers then divided by two. So the answer is 411. So our median of our second example is 411. Is it clear, class? Are you still listening? Are you still following? Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, let's proceed to our next uh, central tendency, which is mode. Who can define mode on your own word? Numbers occur frequently. Okay, very good, Carmen. So, mode, <coughs> mode is the value that occurs most often or frequently. So, example is find the mode of the given data. So we have 9, 7, 9, 6, and 8. Or in finding the mode, we need to arrange it in ascending or descending order. Same to median. 6, 7, 8, and 9. So what numbers occur most often? Yes, very good. Jana. So the number... 9. So therefore, our mode is 9. We call that unimodal. Two mode. We call that bimodal. If more than or more than 3 or more modal, we call that multimodal. Is it clear? Okay, so very good. We have a group activity. So I want you to select your leader to present your uh, question of group one. Are you done copying? Okay, so this is the question of... Are you done? This is uh, the answer of uh, group one. Answer of group one is 18. So the mean of the data is 18. Next, what is the answer of group two? So the answer of group 2 is 22. So the mode of the given data is 22. Very good class. Thank you so much for your 
active participation of the member of the group or a quick review of our uh, topic that we discussed. So what are the measures of central tendency? Okay, very good. So we have mean, median, and mode. Next, what is the mean? Mean. Okay, so mean is the sum of all numbers divided by the total number. Very good. Next, what is median? Okay, is the midpoint of the data. And then, what is mode? Yes, the numbers that occurs most often. I want you to to get one half sheet of paper because we will have a quiz. Uh, mean is one hundred six of point seven. So what is our media median? Okay, so our median is one hundred. Very good, Carlos. The next, what is uh? Our mode. Okay, we have two modes. We have 100 and 120. So we call that bimodal. Thank you so much. So you are very active this, uh, this discussion. So I hope you've learned a lot class. So I want you to get your notebook or a piece of paper. Please write your assignment. Okay, so are you done? Okay, thank you. So that's all for today, class. Thank you so much and have a nice day, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.